Hi, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my channel, CBR 600 2006. This mess on here is the fuel pump. Now, I see a couple of videos on this, and I didn't really explain what I wanted to see. Now, yes, it's in little pieces because I've been taking it apart, but this here is your actual fuel pump it's the bit that's inside. Now, obviously, there's a, a gator over here. And if you watched my last video, they looked like kitchen scrubber pushed in around here. And I don't know why that was there. It wasn't filtrating, it wasn't doing anything. So I really don't know why it was there. What I've got is now is turn the ignition on and I get nothing. Where originally I was turning the ignition on, I was getting a real weak like filling up and the bike would start and then stall. So I thought of something more with this and I took it apart. So very, very simple tools. Uh, 10 mil to get the six bolts off of here. This gasket's reusable and it's not gone hard. Um, two screwdrivers and a pair of pliers and this all comes off. So what you're actually after doing is getting this bit off first and obviously this is a filter and obviously the petrol goes through nicely. And this, now it does take a little bit of wiggly woggling but there is your actual pump, okay? And I found one of these on eBay for $18.99 which I'm gonna buy. The main thing you've got to look for is it's got the same connectors. So don't just go buying one before you take it off. There's several different ones. And it's got these two here which fit perfectly. Underneath slightly different, but that doesn't matter. The one's got the pickup. And this is what filtrates your fuel into your carbs or your injection system in this case. But having, let me show you. Just in case you didn't see my previous video, this was wadded round that and then sitting in here. And I, for the life of me, couldn't understand why that was. Um, you might want to watch the other section of the videos, that's great. But if not, then I don't know why that was. It, it didn't look like it dropped in. It was actually wrapped around this. Like someone had thought it... I don't know what possibly this could do in a fuel tank to make the bike run any better or do anything that it shouldn't do already. Um, it's got this little filter. Um, that's working fine. But the pump is dead. Check the power... The next thing you've got to do is get a multimeter. Check the power going from the switch into this, and then you can check the power once you took this out. You can check whether this has got power here, which I have got power. Be careful, it's petrol, fumes explode, etc. So make sure you're in a ventilated area. Safety. But there you go. Just six ordinary 10mm bolts. Turn the tank upside down, it's got a bit of fuel in there. Undo the 10, they will undo nicely and then just pull it out. This unit, as I said, just sits in like that and then comes out. Not really wiggly woggly. This is still very good and this pushes back in with little clippy bits there, which I think you can see. And that all sits very, very nicely. I'm gonna put all this back in there now while I'm waiting for the part. But that's a really short little video. I get moaned at my videos, get to the point mark. Well, I have. This is a DIY job you can do yourself. Yes, you've got the panels to get out of the way uh, if you need to. You've got four bolts to get the tank up. Um, you've got a disconnect 70 mil uh, screwdriver here and there. Nothing major at all. Better check this. But before you do this, check that you've got power going to it. You don't want to take the whole lot off to find out that the kill switch isn't working or the side stand's jammed down or something. I knew I got power to it. I know it's not working. And you can see that someone has definitely played. I just. Someone's been in there. Today, still doing the CBR. I bought this part Thursday about 3.30. Said it'd be here Tuesday, and here we are Saturday afternoon, the part came. That's brilliant. Now, I said to you the other day, this does come off, and the difference is with the new one is that I don't think it's got this little bit. So, look what we get. Oh, there you go. Pattern part. And it is identical. No, it's not. No, it's not at all, is it? Crap. Do you know, it looked it. It really did. And that looked much bigger than it was. Ah, right, so there's a little bit of playing around here. And there's the switch. I thought that was just gonna be a nice plug in and play. And being in petrol, I've got to look how to do this. So let's get it all out and have a look. That's not so much fun at all. Well, 
end of the day, that just fits in on top of the other pump anyway. The original one, I thought it would all be like sealed and so on, but it's not. So maybe I can just put another clip on the black wire and then the live I can just re fit into there. I mean, it doesn't seem to matter. That's a sealed unit coming through. As long as petrol doesn't leak or it doesn't arc out, which it won't do, it's not a. Right, let's play with this. I'm not going to show you this because it's going to be boring. But let's have a little play with this now and uh, get it set up. So there we go. What do you reckon? There is the negative there going up to the negative and the positive linked and taped well. This bandy stuff in there and going in there. I mean, if that's open, they're closed as well. I reckon this is a very nicely rebuilt fuel pump. Now, I've got to see whether it works. Let's dig it back in the tank. This little gate to go back on, put it all back together, put it in the back of the tank, connect it all back up again, and then you'll get to see me whether it um, fires up. <laughs> it's all back on. I'm actually really apprehensive of, of turning ignition on. It's just the live in the tank. Um, bang! Do you know it's a live wire going to that? Oh, don't know if to duck down in the floor and hopefully just burn my back and blow my head off. I don't know. Right, you may get to see me go kaboom. Um, if that's the case, then no more Mark Savage. <laughs> I don't know, I'm laughing, I'm actually quite nervous. Put the power on, the clock's working. Oh, oh, I don't know. Right, yeah, let's do this. Move back. <laughs> well, it didn't explode. See if it starts. Definitely heard the the, um, the pump priming, which I hadn't heard before. Give it a go. Keep everything crossed. <laughs> Hasn't gone bang. Hasn't made any stupid noises. And it's ticking over. Mark Savage. So that is amazing. Air filter, plugs, oil, bars, air filter, fairing panels, everything now I can start getting now because the worry before was that it wasn't going to do it. And they also, um, <laughs> do you remember what was in the tank? Where is it? I've chucked it. This stuff that was in the tank. I actually come up with the idea, washing up the lid, and I rubbed the tyres down. And, and I've done this side, the front tyres come up like new, and it's soft. This one not so bad, I've got another tyre anyway. But, well, at least it was good for something. There we go. That is a short video. Job done. Got to put it on again. One more time. Let's hear what it starts start like. And there we go on this bloody hot day. A job done. Thumbs up. Including Mark Savage dancing. I don't care. I'm well happy. Going to do it again. And uh, then get on with all the other little bits. But I am, I'm ecstatic now. So far. Yes. So now we've parked. 
So now I start with the TLC Savage style. So uh, even this stuff again, um, all the scratches on the frame, rubbed it gently, much better, I've got to blow over them. The engine panel, rubbed them round, and I blow over that. The engine case on this side, rubbed down a little bit, and I blew over it in silver, looks a million dollars. I've also cleaned all the back and washed it all. I'm just waiting now to get on the computer to buy all my yummy parts. Watch out for the next part where you'll start seeing me in the shed with all the yumminess, paying lots and lots of money out on this bike. But the results should speak. But the results should speak for themselves. You take care of yourselves on the road. Please like, share, and subscribe, and stay with me for the next part. The best part.